I've been wanting to try tri blades on my X2 Mini for quite some time. Problem is, there's they got four mil shafts rather than the normal five mil shafts, and after quite a while, it dawned on me that you can't buy props with four mil holes. You got to use the five mil and pack them out. So the trick to this, after reading and looking around, is to use some sort of tape. I've used insulation tape to wrap around that portion of the thread that's going to be covered by the hub, hub of the prop. Uh, and you're not looking for mechanical strength here. All you're doing is packing the shaft out so that the prop would centre properly and sit nicely on the shaft. The actual uh, work is going to be done by the prop nut. So this just demonstrates how it's done. This is a quick demo. Um, the actual tape I used was I, I packed it out so it was a good snug fit. Uh, this is just a demo. The next problem, of course, was getting a prop nut. So I got the got the blades first, and then realised I didn't have any four millimeter clockwise and counterclockwise prop nuts. So I went online and got those from Hobby King. Um, at first, I was worried that they're not the same colour, rather than the, uh, the red and black I'm used to for for the clockwise and counterclockwise. But then I realised keep them in separate bags. There's no big deal anyway. So that's the demo of how they fit onto the onto the shaft. So as I stress, do them good and tight, and you're not getting any slippage. So it came test time, and it looked nice and calm. Unfortunately, there's a 12 kilometer wind, which is enough to cause some problems, I think, because light drones don't go, don't go well if you're using for photographic platforms. And this is in slow mode, just to give you an idea what it looks like lumbering into the air with a camera underneath it. It's a little faster in real time. I noticed through my goggles that the, uh, the EX2 Mini wasn't flying as well as it normally does. I was getting uh, tail drop, which was a common problem I found with the original controller, and also quite a bit of jello. And I realised that um, I'm using Expo on it, and normally I fly 50% Expo for the uh, pitch and roll. That's the elevators and aerial. The idea being to smooth out the movements. Now, I'd actually set it up to 75%. So I looked at this, took it home, and I reset it so that uh, it's not switching anymore. It's set on 20%, so it should be make for a very smooth flight on both pitch and roll. I've done a quick test outside, and though it's windy, it looks quite good, so uh, I'll try that. That's a nice thing with Deviation and the Jumper TX. You can uh, modify settings to suit your own flying style or, or what you want to do.
that's just coming up to five. in the road if you're not careful. Okay, it's coming over. Oh! Five, five minutes thirty-two. Oh, That's what I was scared I was going to do because I was whirling around like a yeah. dervish at one stage and I thought if I lose my balance and fall down this, this little hill thing you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Because you sort of, you, you kind of get dizzy when you turn around too quickly. 